Okay. You're sick of King Tigers? Sick of IS2s? Sick of uh, rotating turrets? Well, guess what? The Elephant is the king and the 20th Panzer Grenadier is going to be the deck for you. What can I say about it? It's the Elephant Spam, the cheese of all tanks. It doesn't die. It's the beast. Side armor 95, 190 front frontal armor. Nothing's penetrating you at max range. You have a 230 penetration, you're going to be penetrating everybody else. Though you have no rotating turret, which is a, you know, a negative and a positive. If you have to rot, if you get stuck or your transmission gets destroyed, you can't rotate out. Uh, the tank is slow as hell, so you can't reverse. It's just a, f it's so fat. It's like, you know, yeah. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, <laughs> but I mean, this thing is absolutely a beast. It's just uh, awesome. I cannot you know, say it. You have to make sure though. It's in areas. Or he doesn't die instantly. But let's go through the deck. Okay. So, you go to the recon tab. What do you get? You got your beautiful BMW. You know, nothing special here. It comes with a radio. That's the only reason you bring it. If you want to rush down roads with these, you can. 80 kilometers road speed. Pretty good. 2 MG34. 10 points, though. But dice infantry. So, not really ideal. Off clear. Uh, nothing special here. Can't come in anything special. Just your standard recon squad. And then you get these guys, which is, again, nothing special here. Nothing good. I wouldn't buy any of this stuff. As you can see why the recon tab is empty. Infantry-wise, it's a pretty standard uh, German infantry tab. The only thing to speak of that's unique is the Strohs Troop. If I'm saying that wrong, I don't care. Uh, it comes with a Molotov five-man squad, though. Cannot, it'll just get immediately destroyed if it gets caught in the open. Has to stay in CQC. Actually, a pretty cost-efficient unit, only 15 points. Get your beautiful results. You know, your beautiful uh, men you don't care about, you throw around. Get your Panzer Grenz, you get more Panzer Grenz, you get Panzer Grenz, DP if you want to, so a little cheaper Panzer Grenz, and they get Panzer Grenz. Uh, can't come with any half trucks, unfortunately, so that sucks. Comes with Pioneers, though, if you want, A, B, and C. Also, get your Stern Pioneers, A and B, and that is it. You get two types of leader cards. Um, you bring, you can either get the Smoke or the Frag. Frag is phase locked to A, 3. Smoke, not so much. They can come in any phase. Um, can't bring him anything that interesting as well. So, infantry tab is uneventful. Tank tab, a little more interesting here. Get your beautiful Stugs. It's Stugs. 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 More Stugs. But, you get this cool-ass Panther tank with a Panzer forehead. 100 105 armor. Not that much more frontal armor, unfortunate. But, 135. It's, you know what? It's pretty good. I'm gonna be real. I've seen this thing do damage. Uh, it's got pretty good survivability. I don't know what it is about extra five armor, but it feels like it survives everything. <laughs> um, that's what I have to say about Stugs though. Your Stug four is really good. They're they're so cost efficient. We pair them the leader and then you get a commander. Then you'll even have double vetted Stug fours, which are gods. So I really do recommend those. Um, that little bit of extra frontal armor is, uh, over the other normal Stug is so much better. Um, when we go into the tank, you know, you know, support tab, it's really cool stuff here. First of all. Get this beautiful War Thunder $100 tank. Um, <laughs> this is awesome. The Beef Tiger. Uh, it's like the, I think it's the Porsche version. Got the turret all weird. It's really cool. It's 170 frontal armor. So not going to be penetrated by anything really. Maybe an IS-2. And it's got a huge gun. Just freaking wrecking everybody. Side's pretty strong too. 85. It's a commander. So it gives everybody double vet around it. Pretty awesome. Ammo trucks pretty standard. IG guns pretty standard. IG guns, these both IG 33s and IG 18s. You get four cards MG 42, so you have plenty of those. You also get these beautiful police units if you want to waste a card of units. And then you got a commander for infantry, and you also got this SDKFC if you want a mobile commander. And then if you want a heavy tank, which come on, you want, why even pay for this division if you're not going to use it? Bring this. It is a DLC division, by the way. And you get flamethrowers. Um, it's a tank tab. What can I say? It carries all the tanks, the real tanks. Get your elephants, you get three cards of them. You get one in A, two in B, and four in C. You get Yagpanzer as well. If you want, if you want, Sug 4s weren't good enough for you, frontal armor, and you wanted a little bit of an upgrade, pay a little more, 130 penetration, sorry, frontal armor. Uh, pretty good tank, actually. You know, you get pretty good availability, too. Two, four, eight. You get plenty of Panzer checks, three cards of them. You can, you can bring them whenever. Um, you can also bring a card of pack 40s if you want. And that is it for that. And now we get to another fun part of the deck. 
This deck has plenty of 88s, so if you want to kill people with 88s, all good. You get SDKFCs, you get your Flak 36s, get your awesome Flak 20s with, if you want to, you can't bring them any half tracks, so they're useless. And then you get two cool cards. You can either bring a Flak for Ling with the Panther, or you can bring the Flak for Ling with the T34. And let me tell you, these things are laser beams. They destroy enemy tanks in CQC. I think they've been nerfed a little bit lately, but honestly, they're so good. You can use these things as frontline vehicles and just mess people up. Um, if the side armor is exposed and tank comes around, you're gone. So this thing's awesome. I, I can't. This thing's fast. All right, what's the speed? Look at the speeds here. Road speed. I mean, okay. The the speed's a little different. But you're paying. I'd rather have that extra. Like the speed's so insignificant. I'm gonna be real. Like road speed, 49 for uh, the, the you know T34 and 46 for the Panther, which is nothing. And you can see the off road. It's not that big of a difference as well. So that extra bit of armor though feels significant where you can actually bounce around and get kind of lucky. So I stick with the Panther. That's just my view. Um, awesome thing in this deck too is the off map cancer. You get two of these off map planes that each have three shots. They're 172, the highest level you can get before you only get two shots. And you get, like, what is this availability, you know? Like two for 80 points? Like, God, that's so good. And why are they so cheap too? I also get some 100 millimeter. Uh, there's something you know here. You should bring these in B. Why? Because you can get an ammo truck. What is this ammo truck? It is a T-34. Like, what is this weird? Here's ammo for you. Pretty awesome, actually. Um, you only get two of these things. So these, I don't know how you're going to say, munition wagons, whatever. Uh, these things are awesome. You should get these things. Because they do carry a ton of ammo, as you can see here. It carries 15,000 15, supply. While, you know, a normal supply truck, go back, uh, only carries... 10,000 so it carries another you know 500 there so that's pretty good you can also bring them with 88 and stuff if you really want to and yeah so that's worth you get no ammo trucks though for your heavy artillery unfortunate uh, you get two cards of 150s you get your two cards of 120s you get your 105s if you want you get your 81 millimeter liters and radio that you should never buy as well um and then the air tab beautiful the standard the actual air tab uh get your beautiful BF 109 G6s, good and worth under, good to steal vision. You get two, four, and then six, eight. Sorry, huge. You get the cheap one if you want. Does it get pretty good BF 109 bombers? They carry a 250 kilogram bomb. This will for sure kill any AT guns. Be careful though. The resilience is bad. Uh, you also get some rocket planes. Get your JU D5s if you really want the D5s. And you get some D5, oh, D3, recons, and a Flock Wolf 58 uh, recon, which I don't know why you need. Um, Defenses wise, bring MG 42s, bring two bunkers, and then bring barbed wire and trenches, and that's a must. I know all these one v one players; they don't have anything in here. Well, put it in. You, you're just lazy. Just do it. You already spent all these hours playing this game. You may as well. This front line is actually a good gameplay, and people should try it. Let's look at the one v one, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the deck. All right, there's two ways to play this deck, in my opinion, and one way is better than the other. First of all, this is my Maverick build, but I really do think this is a strong, balanced build. On certain maps, there is just open fields, and you can just dominate the map with these vehicles. Um, what can I say? You have an elephant, and nothing can beat your elephant. <laughs> so, it's a really, if you play super defensive this deck, you can really mess people up. You've got plenty of defensive units. The Stugs are defensive in themselves. The Jagdpanzer is defensive in themselves. Elephants as well. Plenty of heavy AA. Plenty of aircraft to deal with whatever you need to deal with. And you have I mean, not that they really need to anyway. You have infantry that's really good for medium range, so you want to catch people in the open. You don't really want to fight too much in CQC. So, I really do think you can use this deck to out sustain other players. Now, this deck is my Maverick. I'm playing a little more aggressive with it, but this is kind of a Maverick build to counter other, like, super light Mavericks. So, I kind of adjust this deck, actually. I think there's too little stuff. <laughs> but, you know, what can you do these days? Um... Like, I would remove my leaders right there and be tap. And, uh, I don't know, maybe get rid of, yeah, maybe bring the leaders in, uh, maybe bring another infantry squad instead of those uh, Panzer Grand leaders in the infantry tab. But, yeah, I'm just saying this is a really strong deck to play defensive. I played a lot of good guys who play 1v1, and they've used this deck, and they've messed me up, and I've seen it mess up other people. So I really do think you should really consider bringing this. Um, you can also bring this other ammo truck I almost forgot. It's the uh, other mobile wagon device. It's really, really good. And I really do recommend that as well. So, And it carries a little less ammo, I believe. 
Yeah, only 10,000. So 10,000, 15,000. But they can only come in like the lighter artillery. They don't come with the 100 mils the, or the 150s. So you can only bring these with the 105s. Which is nice. Look at that. Look at all that ammo in there, guys. Nothing. <laughs> it's air. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, what I have to, that's all I have to say about this division. Pretty fun division to play with. I think this one's a little out of date, actually. I should probably update it before I play it again with it. But um, it's awesome. It's so much fun. And in team games especially, this deck rocks out there. There's nothing. There's no real good weaknesses. Of this deck, so it covers all the bases. And you can really mess people up if they don't really know how to deal with heavy tanks. If you're trying to counter this division, use the smoke. Get your little light mortar, get your artillery, and just smoke off the elephant. Get in its face, get on the flanks, and get in awkward positions around this elephant. Because it's slow. It's 245 points. You lose this thing in the beginning of a game, or in B phase, and maybe the beginning of C phase. You're losing huge, you're killing a huge chunk of the enemy's forces. And you gotta be very careful, too. This thing, for whatever reason... So, transmission damage, guys, is a non-penetrating critical. So... Most criticals you need to penetrate to inflict, but transmission damage you do not. This thing gets transmission damage all the time, and look how slow it is. It is god awfully slow. You know, 25 kilometers. So just you need to be careful because it's going to get stuck. You get in these weird ink positions where you're fighting like a V shape, where there's two guy, one guy your left, one guy your right, and you're firing at both. And your tank liner wants to rotate the entire turret to face one guy, and you're getting side shot from the other. You need to be aware of these things and cover those angles by just putting the tank in a weird spot where it can only kind of aim forward. So, anyway, these are my tips for this deck. And I um, uh, hope you guys like it. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what divisions you're going to look at, what you want me to look at. And uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.